Okay, how to um, burn out a pipe with a heat gun. I've got another uh, video up about how to do this, but uh, that pipe, I've got this one on my workbench, so it's got a bit more control over it. That pipe was down on the ground, it was really hard to get to, and it had water running through it, so it was really hard to get out. This one, hopefully, will come out a whole lot quicker, but we'll see. So I've got a heat gun here, Black & Decker 1600 watt, and as I'm blowing on the pipe, I'm wanting to melt out this pipe. This is the elbow, and this is the pipe. So I'm just wanting the heat to get onto that, and it's only a thin little elbow, it's not thick at all, so I'm gonna try not to deform that. The tools I'm gonna to use, I've got a little uh, bladed screwdriver um, here, something with a nice sharp edge. See that's going black on the edge side, heating up there. And I've got some pointy nose pliers, and I better concentrate what I'm doing here, and I've got some normal pliers. So I just get this hot all the way around. Let's see where we're at. So hold the pipe. Yeah, this is better. Getting the pipe, it's flexing right down to the back. This one's better. Put that in, just twist, and that comes out. There you go. That has um, been heat removed in just a couple of seconds. Now, if you look down in there, you've got some stuff which is gonna get in the way of water flow for the next fitting that goes in there. So you can get your pointy nose pliers and rip that plastic out as well. So just getting that um, out it's going to restrict the water flow so we don't want it in there just grab it with the pointy nose pliers it's, it's just a bit of excess glue from the last glue job there we go it's all good it really is that easy to get a fitting out and uh, you can even use a good quality hair dryer um, to melt a fitting out as well compare it to my other video it's a whole lot easier if you get it up on a workbench and uh, there's no water in the fitting.